Action. You're at a bar catching up with a friend you haven't seen in months. Hey! Hi! The bartender brings you your drinks, and right before you take a sip, the two of you touch glasses and say... Cheers. Cheers. Why does this happen? Do either of you know where this comes from? Yes, actually. If you know it, don't say it. Well, I don't... What? You just asked me if I know! <laughs> I, I think, think I, know. I do! I think you I know think too. you know also! <laughs> Should we say it? Should we say it? So what do you think it is? It's a longer answer. Because... Okay, you're right about that. But where does saying cheers come from? It's a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Which came first, the Which TV came... show? I don't know. The word cheers comes from the old French word for face, cher. Cher? We should just yell face. <laughs> face! Face! Cheer evolved over time to mean mood or expression, and later went on to mean a good mood. But the exact timing of the origin of the word cheers as a toast is debated. I think I cracked the glass a bit. How? I was choosing too hard, I don't know. According to Merriam-Webster, the first use of the word cheers as a toast was in 1930. However, Oxford English Dictionary contends that the phrase cheers came into use earlier during World War I. World War I, I thought it would be older. Oh, I'm thinking like, like kings, medieval yeah, times, medieval and like, cheers. cheers. Historians speculate that the origin of the contemporary toast was the Greek practice of pouring out some of one's drink to honor the gods. Pour hey, one out. Yeah. Pour one out. What a mess. Yeah. Don't do that Wait in my house, please. Like the gods would like drink the floor drink. Pour one out for Zeus. Like Santa. Like leaving cookies out for him. Yeah. Can you imagine if you had to throw cookies and milk on the floor for Santa? <laughs> there you go, Santa. <laughs> Legend has it that the original purpose of the glass clinking was to keep away evil spirits, including the evil spirits thought to be responsible for making people drunk. Oh, so if you cheers, you won't be drunk? That's bull. So they're like, but why am I getting like stupid all the time? Yeah. They're like, it's because oh, of the evil spirits. Feel weird? Let's clink our glasses. Yeah. They hate high-pitched noises. Author Douglas B. Smith suggests that people clink their glasses together prior to drinking because in the past, people would attempt to murder their enemies by poisoning their drinks. Yeah, mm. I knew that. They would cheers and then some of my drink would go in your drink and your drink would go in my drink to make sure we weren't poisoning each other. That's what my Is that also belief. what you heard? Yes. Called it. I mean, it happens in Game of Thrones when yeah. they like pour each other drinks and they're like, they like don't drink until after you yeah, drink. Yeah, yeah. It happens. I feel like it's a weird social game. No one is safe. The word toast itself has a strange backstory, stemming from the practice of dropping a piece of charred or spiced toast in wine to make the drink taste better. Cheers the cheers the cheers toast. Cheers the toast. And you just drop it in. Attention, a toast. <laughs> I'd like to raise a toast. <laughs> hey! I don't want to do this. Yeah, it tastes like toast. In the 1700s, the word toast evolved to also mean the person being honored by the toast, leading to the phrase, toast of the town. Oh. First century CE poet, Marshall, detailed the Roman practice of having guests drink as many glasses of wine as there were letters in their host's mistress name. Stephanie was the most popular girl in the town. <laughs> A long and, name. and Al was just no one was showing up to his parties. Like where'd where'd Brad go? Uh, uh, he yeah. went down at the pee. He's done. Yeah. Didn't make it. You don't even have to worry about the poison when you're just choking on toast the whole time. And over the years, the custom evolved, and people no longer drank entire glasses during a toast. Instead, taking a small sip of their drinks or even just making eye contact with the person being toasted was enough. It's like a greeting. Mm -hmm. Cheers, mate. Like, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Some people hey, use cheers. it as their sign off on yes. their emails. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this guy. Cheers. Cheers. Jonathan. Hey, if you could get this back to me by the end of today, that would be really great. Cheers. Cheers. cheers.